he got a line in the song. He said, I think my dad loved me and I love him, but I hit him for out of two keys. You know, like he hit his dad out of two keys. Did he didn't want him in that life or something? Why? And you and y'all break the bricks down together. Then he got Nussie car took after the two bricks was like it was so much that that, that had happened that transpired, like the two bricks was just me getting you back for everything you did me. This is a part of the game if you in the streets. They got chicken hawks that's gonna pick your chickens up. If you had bricks, you had chickens, he was coming get it. What it do, what it do is your girl, DCF First Lady, AKA Big Dana, and I'm rocking with Video Wayne. Where would you say people know you most from? Um, DCF First Lady because of the social media. Um, platform. You said Dope Celebrity Family, there's another name that comes with that. Nussie. Yeah. King of Bam Ridge, underground. Yeah. We just street niggas trying to convince you we can rap. So what we doing now, we paying our dues with this rap shit. And, and, and by us being the way we are, man, a lot of motherfuckers, it's, it's sad to say, but they don't want to let it real in, like talking about, because you know, we exposed a lot of fake shit. And you the first lady. That's right. I was there before it all started. Right. Yeah, and then his dad is from the neighborhood I grew up in, Easy Town. Um, Mr. Put Easy Town on his back and ran with it. He was originally from the South Baton Rouge, though. Grew up on um, 16th Street, if I'm not mistaken. He jumped off the porch, I say about 17. He was introduced to um, another guy who had just came home from the war. He was a dope kicker. He kicked in doors. And that's where Nussie, what Nussie was really birthed. The street part of Nussie was really birthed in that. He hustled, but that, that other type of hustle came when he met Action Jackson. Man. Yeah. That was the guy's name? That was his name. Okay, and at that time he was uh, early teens? Early teens, 16, 17. He dropped out of school at 17. And nobody in the city, if you was drinking lean, if you had a lean habit, if you had a pill habit, he was the only person in the city who had it in abundance. Mm -hmm. So you had to come to Easy Town to get it. You had to go, you had to see Nussie. Either way it was, if you, and, and they was coming from all over to get it. Fucking right, I did that. <laughs> I did the crime, I needed to do the time. I wasn't, I wasn't gonna take a piss test, but I shit it in the cup. He was, a, he was a dope boy, he was getting it. Like I said, he was hustling. He was already a hustler, but when he made action, he became that street, he became that street guy then. And he jacked some big timers, like he, he, jack, he wasn't scary. He jacked you, went in your house, bare face. No ski mask. Yeah, he did it. Old nigga over that man, and I sold him 50 pounds of hate because I didn't have the weed. At least I told the truth. I said it didn't have no seeds. He mad at me now. He won't do me something, but he know he come over here and I'm gonna shoot his ass down like an rocket man. What was the reason he would jack somebody? Like if, if I'm trying to buy something from you and you don't want to sell me something, so you're gonna make me take it from you. You know, or uh, you, you in here like you the shot caller and you really don't sh shot call. Like you really not who you say you are. And again, if, if he felt like he was weak, he coming at you. But for him to be called a snake, it kind of, it messed with me when I see it. For the simple fact, this is a part of the game. This is a part of the game if you in the streets. This is, it, it just, they got hawks everywhere. They got chicken hawks that's going to pick your chickens up and steal them. And that's what he did. He picked, if you had bricks, you had chickens, he was coming get it. I want it all, man. I mean everything. Good, bad, bad. Be respected when I let him hang. Once he got in Easy Town, it was like I'm I'm coming back. I'm staying in Easy Town. But he grew up in South Baton Rouge. His daddy was Fast Freddy, uh, also known as Poochie. Call him Fast Freddy because he he great he drove every car like a race car. His dad was in the game. His dad was a gangster. His dad was in the game. He got a line in the song. He said, "I think my dad loved me." And I love him, but I hit him for out of two keys. He hit his dad out of two keys. I be on some other shit when I'm trying to get red. And my pops, we ain't speaking because I took his two bricks. You didn't do right by him, none. You know, and that's why he took the two bricks from you. You ain't do right by him. He knew, he knew this was us, and he could have easily put that for him. What, he didn't, want, he didn't want him in that life or something? Why? And you and y'all breaking bricks down together. How? You done put your money and his together, but you done went under, under, his two, under the dope. It was supposed to be four, but you came back with two, so he jacked you out your two. He rapped about it. Yeah. But that, Nussie, it didn't stop Nussie from pulling up. Then he got Nussie car took after the two bricks was, like it was so much that, that, that had happened that transpired, like the two bricks was just 
me getting you back for everything you did me. I, I've been seeing like interviews and stuff about people saying that he was a snake. That's not what it was, because he wasn't a snake. He it was a code that he lived by. If, if you can't eat on the side of me and call yourself real, you're not a real nigga if you eating on the side of me and I'm not. You know, bosses put put their people on. You know. And his 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 and the reason why he took his dad's is because he was crumb feeding him. He was giving him crumbs, you know, knowing he just got out of jail, he was on his knuckles, and you doing this to me? And I didn't put sixty thousand dollars in this house, you know, to help you do this and help you do that. We just bought a car, we done did this and him you and his, him and his dad was tight? What oh was yeah, tight. that was tight. Jam tight. What happened after he stole the two bricks from his dad? Did they did they ever connect? Yeah. So his dad was still alive when he yeah, his dad died shortly afterwards though. He he killed himself in that automobile accident on accident. Drinking drunk. Driving fast. Driving fast. Fast Freddy. Hit the curve. We're um coming off of the interstate, like literally a mile from his house. Jumped off the interstate, went a curve, went again he drove with two feet, you know. And probably overcorrected, but it was no skid marks or nothing. He and his truck flipped over, threw him out the car, and he he was hanging on the on the um fence. His hat was still hanging on the fence uh, when we passed there the next day. Yeah, it happened at like four o'clock in the morning. He mourned his son really bad though because of that period where he didn't speak to his son about the two bricks. But you know you didn't raise, you didn't do right by him none. Like I had a best another another friend named Big London. I don't, I don't know if you heard of him, but Big Ga Gates talk about him a lot. Yeah. Gates was like a son of Big London. He got his name tatted on him and everything. Big London, He, like I said, he was well known, but he he was an easy target for anybody to get to because he was heavy. He he falls asleep often, and his friend actually wanted to rob him, like followed him home. Had seen he had knocks in his pocket and wanted to rob him. Nigga said, oh no, we're not finna rob Big Boy. No, indeed not. That's what Nussie said. That's what Nussie told him. He was like, he say, she, I mean, we finna get him. That nigga got money. It's like, nah, man, that's Dana's friend. I'm not gonna be able to look at her face knowing that we done laid him down like that. You know, so you can't know him to say he a snake. Don't, don't, you know, don't have him being like a demon in the streets. Cause that's, that's the narrative that's being, that's being pushed that he had what was coming to him. Like he knew if, if he could talk and, and, and he'll be like, man, nigga got me. You know, I got to take my lick. If he could talk, that's what he would say. You know, it's, I mean, because he, he had something to say, I'd rather, be, I'd rather be judged by 12 than to carry back by 6. But she, about another one of the songs he got, he say, how do you think that you going to leave here? He say, me, I think I'm going to go out with keeping it too real. He said, because I keep it too real. Reality real. You know, he said, I think I'm going to go out with keeping it too real.